sorry about that. Uh, it was either the 10 minute limit was up on my video uh, recording or the battery needed to be replaced. Either or it got both. Okay, now let's uh, install the PCI slot covers. They're very simple. You just drop them down in. In the bottom, there's an area for this tapered part to fit into, and then the top just gets a screw. So you just uh, line them, drop them in, a couple screws, and fasten them. Okay, and that's uh, the PCI slot cover. Let's hook up the power connector for the graphics card. This wire is just going to have to run down alongside the uh, thing. I'm not going to need the just two six pin connectors on this card instead of uh, needing that extra two that makes up a eight pin connector. So we'll just tuck that behind somewhere and oops and she's hooked up okay uh, let's move this out of the way I'm done with that it appears to be oh I got a rear fan to install here let's turn it this way this is an 80 millimeter LED red fan. We'll be installing on this. Here's my fan screws. Now the front fan is orientated so that it pulls air in and I want to flow over all the hardware and exit the back. So the direction of this fan would have to be uh, this direction. So let's uh, get our screw ready here. Let's line it up in the hole. Get one started. There's two. The uh, three and four. Now when these spans are new, they're uh, you're actually tapping the threads into the plastic, so it does take a little more force. Don't think you're uh, gonna break something. Just uh, go slow at it if you want. Run it in a little bit, back it off a little bit, and then continue running it in some more. Now the connector here is gonna have to come all the way over here. And plug in beside the processor fan header. And then let's clean up some of this water here. I don't want to run this. I think that's just. It's good right there alongside the graphics card. Except it's not going. So I'm gonna give it a little twist. And try it again. The time it appears that it stayed. Okay. I think we have everything hooked up. I think we're ready to fire it up and see if she posts. I'm going to put the back cover back on it before I do that. Let's lay her down. She got a little bit heavier since I started. This uh, connector here, I'm not sure about it because the size of 
the thickness here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it behind there, but I know it'll fit here. So let's uh, run this up and around. And we will stash it right here behind the power supply. Everything else seems to be okay where she's sitting. Let's get our rear panel cover. Okay. It appears it's the USB 3 cable. It needs room to lock into this front, so that is not going to be able to go there. So we're just going to have to right here, got a little indentation here. Let me give it a little more room. And there we go. Needed a little persuading, but she went on there. And uh, it's not bulging out or anything. The cables are not pushing it out. So that's good. Tie a couple thumb screws on there. Let's turn her back over. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm gonna hook up a monitor and a cable to the power supply, and let's uh, let's get this thing to post. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, one thing I almost forgot. Uh, we didn't hook up any SATA cables, so I went through my bin to find out what red SATA cables I have and uh, went two matching cables so this looks like them plug one into the hard drive and then one into the optical drive it's right above it there we go I'm going to try to keep them together. I'm going to tie strap them also so that they're together. Let me uh, do that now. I even have some red tie straps for this. Maybe it'll look a little neater. Start with it back there. right there and see if I'm going to add more after I plug it all in. I didn't wrench the tie straps down. I want to leave them a slight bit loose so I can move them around or move the cables if need be. Okay, so this one would be the optical and this would be the hard drive. SATA 1 and SATA 2. Here's SATA 2. This would be SATA 1. Of course, it turns over. Why they do that, I don't know. Okay. So it appears that I can get one more strap on here, one more zip tie, there we go, and I think it will just, where can I put it? Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and zip tie it right to the 24 pin connector. Hopefully that'll keep it down all the way of everything. Which looks 
looks like it worked out just fine. Okay, now let's hook a monitor up and uh, power cable for the power supply and get her to post. Okay, I got a monitor hooked up. Everything seems to be in place. Let's uh, power it up. And there we go. Looking for a boot device. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and install Windows 8.1. Uh, configure with all the drivers and and uh, get it all set up. And then I'll be back to make another little short video on it. I'll take some good detailed pictures of it the best I can. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, here we go. Uh, I have Windows 8.1 installed. All drivers for NVIDIA's graphics card. AMD drivers for the processor. Uh, everything is installed and running running good. Here's the specifications, uh, basic information. Uh, what's installed on this. It shows the AMD Phantom 2 x4 840 processor. It's running at 3.2 GHz now because the ASUS's uh, board just optimized it. Uh, installed memory, 8 gigs of uh, the DDR3 memory, 